today we will be delving upon the topic types of controls so every organization should have proper controls when i mean controls i mean that they should have proper processes or proper systems in place which will ensure that in case an incident happens it goes detected if it goes detected it is corrected and it also ensures that incidents do not happen in the future so how do we go about having the controls and what should it address what should the controls basically address so controls should actually look upon two factors basically so when a uh, design of a control is being done it should look after two factors basically one should be very clear about the fact what needs to be achieved and what should be avoided so the control should be in a position to address these two segments so there are these are certain specific is control objectives it should be safeguarding the assets so assets which are important to the organization it should be actually safeguarding those is assets ensuring that software development life cycles are well established so you know you have a proper process of developing a software inside the organization you have a proper integrity of the general operational systems environments ensure sensitivity of critical and sensitive systems interference with the operation of safety systems should be such that it should not hinder the overall working of the safety system if the organization is dealing with third parties proper sla's should be in place it should have a proper incident response plan as i was explaining in case an incident happens it should have a proper incident response plan to take care of it it should have a proper access management and authentication and identification system in place for all the is users it should also ensure that there is a mechanism in place to ensure that the it service availability is there so suppose what i mean by it service availability so in case my one of my server goes down i should have a backup server or some mechanism so as to ensure that there is an it service availability which is happening if my service is based on servers and it should have a proper protection of data and the systems in place so it could be logical uh, protection it could be physical so by physical i am looking after the entire building by logical i am ensuring who all is trying to access those data and the systems now when a development of a control environment happens it's an assessment which the is auditor does during the course of the audit so obviously is auditors understanding and assessment and judgment will bring in a better clarity or an understanding of it so it may so happen that the is auditor sees that okay there is a location where it's a manual entry system which is happening for people who are coming in now he or she could look for some compensating controls because there is a very much good possibility that in a manual system manual errors might happen and there could be a miss of a person getting recorded so you would have a compensating control somewhere coming into the picture which could be a second layer where maybe another check is happening or only people who are actually authorized to enter are entering so those could be the compensating controls but the inherent weakness of the control will still remain which is a manual process overlapping controls overlapping controls are controls which one control is there you have another control so suppose you are entering a building you have an access management card you enter the building you produce your access management card that's a compensating control and that's an uh, initial control which ensures that no unauthorized person is allowed to enter when you enter your specific work area you have another access control so you basically you are having an overlapping control so it's a double control so there are certain controls which are in nature in general controls so that could be internal and accounting controls you could have operation controls you could have administrative level controls you could have controls on the overall policies of design and records 
you could have controls where you would have proper procedures for access and practices and as i was explaining in my previous slide physical and logical security policies could be in place now here we talk about is specific controls information system specific controls strategy and direction of the it function where is it heading where exactly how exactly is the it function structured what is the strategy that the it function is taking so that is going to be playing a specific role while designing the controls then you could have general organization and management of the it function how is the it function generally managed how is it done so how is you know the day to day operations which are happening access to it resources how is a person given access to an it resource so suppose someone has to become the super user or administrator of a server how is he given access what are the procedures of maintaining a password system development methods and change control so when there is a software development life cycle which is happening in that organization how is it happening how are the changes happening to it how do i ensure that the things follow a proper path operations procedures so what are the various operational procedures which are there in place quality assurance procedures again the testing basically of how it's happening bcpdr we have already going to see it in our uh, forthcoming modules in detail on bcpdr but then it is talking about business continuity planning and dr planning database administration so how are the database getting administered physical access controls so how are proper physical access controls in place and protection and detective mechanisms against internal and external attack so in case there is an internal attack or an external attack happens how does it how does the you know how does the system protect itself during that so it could be a reactive thing when it's a protection it could be detective thing it is already detecting so based on that you know you could actually classify it into um uh, control which could actually be preventive it could prevent it could be corrective it has happened and then we are correcting it or it could be detective that yes there is a detection process in place to do, to check such things do not happen which could be your internal audits they could be detective preventive could be you could you know employ proper people at the proper place and corrective is you could actually take up issues after a possible action so maybe you could have proper backup procedures in place so with this we come to an end of this session and uh, my next session will be on risk assessment so how the risk assessment part is managed inside uh, the auditing process so watch out for my session on that thank you thanks everyone